everyone. How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys another haul video, some products that I had picked up. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. So some of these items I had picked up, oh gosh, probably a good uh, month ago, maybe a month and a half. Um, what I'm going to share with you right now, I think I actually purchased sometime uh, like some after Christmas sales even, so it's kind of even gone that far back. I haven't got a chance to show you guys. Some of them I have used and some I have not. So they are some of the Wet n Wild brushes and this is basically a lot of them from the Rose Gold collection. There's only one in here that's not, which I'll show you that one right now. I believe it might be a limited edition. I'm not quite sure. It's not even be on their site anymore but it's a highlighting brush and this is in P77. It's more of the silver uh, tone and then there's like blue swirled in here. It's like of a dragon tail so I think it came from the dragon collection or something of that and yeah it's more of a highlighting brush which it looks and reminds me of the Anastasia uh, brush that a lot of people like for the highlighting or the Morphe one. The other face brushes I have here that came in a set. Um, this one here is the blush brush and it is in uh, P70 which I was going to tell you guys uh, if you notice like there's like this dent here like a indentation like a little dip dent right there that indentation. That's really nice to like whenever you're wanted to hold it really well, just get a firm grip of it and you can control it so much more better. Um, I like that on these. It's on their eye, the eyeshadow brushes also. So this one's the blush brush which I have used. These two I have not used. This is a powder brush and this is in P60 which they're, they're really soft too. I will tell you they are really nice and soft. Yeah, this is your all over powder brush. This one is a foundation brush and it's one of those ones that has that well that you can put maybe your foundation in. So we're going to give that a try. I have never tried one of these so uh, I figured I'd give it a try. This is called P55 and then this face brush came with these eyeshadow uh, brushes. It was a set all together. These four here. Um, this brush here is basically uh, to set under your eye but you probably could use it for bronzing and um, contouring or highlighting as well so this one is in a P65 then the three eyeshadow brushes this here is more like a pencil brush um, I use this to get real tight into my crease a lot of times but it is P10 this is P15 and it's more of a flat um, brush like to pack on your eyeshadows on your eyelids or maybe work a little bit in the crease and um, blend a little bit in your crease with this one. And then this one here is P20 which is more of another blending brush. This one's to really blend everything out or you know like to put your transition shade or any of those kind of things. Um, so I have used all three of those and I really do like them like this here you can get really tight down in here. This is a majority of different Went Wild products here. This is their makeup sponge which has like a little picture of a bunny on there and this part's flat so we're going to give that a try. I did pick up two of their eyeshadow palettes. These two eyeshadow palettes I was watching a young lady and her name, her beauty channel is called Beauty Addiction. I'll put a link down below to her channel, but she was saying that these two palettes, there's two I know that almost look like uh, Anastasia palettes. Um, some have, you know, pointed that out that they looked like they could be a dupe or possibly a dupe or compared to. Well, that's the same with these two, only for Natasha Denona palettes. This one here has the purple tones and it's VI Purple. I'm not sure the name of the palette that has the purple tones in it from Natasha Denona, 
I cannot really remember it. This palette's called Stop Playing Safe, and it has like um, different beautiful colors in there. Now this one she felt looks close to the tropical palette that she had out, and like you can see like um, like a sea foam like uh, green or something, and then more bolder green. And there's just a whole variation of colors. This one looks really pretty. I did pick up another blush. I've got so many other blushes. I feel like I almost have all of their blushes, but I think there is one color I don't have quite yet. But the majority of their blushes I do have. This one's Blazing Berry. When I saw this color, I thought, oh my gosh, like it is such a pretty color. There it is. It has like, um, as you can see, like a sheen to it. Like a glow. Probably almost would remind me of the Rose Champagne one. Is that what it is? I have that one. <clears throat> I did pick up the Photo, Fit, Photo Focus Water Drop Primer in a Rose. I heard Emily Noel was talking. She has the cucumber one and she just loves this primer. So I thought, yep. I'm going to give it a try. And speaking of rose, I did pick up the Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water. Picked up one of these. I never tried any other other ones before, but anything with rose scent, as I told you guys, I can go crazy with. So I did pick up one of their, like, basically like a skincare product. It's limited edition though, so that's the crazy thing. But this is the Photo Focus uh, Rose Multi-Use Oil, and it has like little like rose petals in there, and it's an oil. This color looks so pretty. Um, it's one of the liquid cat suits, the liquid cat suits from the Rose Collection. Um, this one is in bud romance but there it is there looks like i think it has like a uh, purple tone to it some kind of purple tone so moving on to um i ordered uh from alta so i got the 35g bronze goals from the morphe bronze collection this one was just really popping out to me there is no mirror, but a majority of these palettes never have a mirror up here or anything. It does come with so one of the covers, and it does have the names on there. And then here's all the colors in this palette. I don't know. I just I am all about the bronze, the gold, the coppers, and just I figured this would be a palette that I will enjoy playing around with. And then I picked this up when I was in Alta. Um, when my son was home, like we had to go and get a new refrigerator because mine was dying. So we had to go get a new refrigerator. And while we were over there, we stopped over at Alta. And I just picked up a couple of things. I'm trying to think what the other thing was. Oh, I know what it was. I picked up this eyeliner from Maybelline, Master Precise All Day. I got black. And I wanted to try this. I think it's similar to the one I already have. Just the packaging looks different. I'm not sure. I couldn't find the one that I have that I use a lot. So, but I picked this up. This is from Tarte. And how cute is that? Like a little slice of watermelon. And it's from the Sugar Rush. You probably might have seen this collection online. Um, this is the Eye and Cheek palette. You do get a mirror in here. And then there's your eyeshadows and your blush right here in the middle. They're just basic colors in there. You know, just your basic, basic kind of neutral colors. It was $25 for this. So, and I was seeing people complaining because they were saying that the eyeshadows were small. And the first thing I thought about was like, well, you know, it is $25. I mean, if you know uh, Tarte's palettes, their eyeshadow palettes. I mean, a majority of them are like higher priced, and but they are bigger, you know, pans. So for Tarte and their eyeshadows, I mean, twenty-five dollars for this 
um, palette wasn't bad. I'm not sure why people are really complaining because the other thing was they couldn't get their brush in, but I can get my brush in fine. Like I'll show you right here. Like I can get my brush in fine, fine and dandy. You can just tap it in there and there you go. Just swipe around and I, I don't have a problem with that. I think it's just some people were maybe expecting more, but for $25 and being as tart, I think it's really good. I mean, that's a nice, nice little bl uh, size blush there. You know, the blush is a really pretty color. It is more of a, one of their, oops, one of their uh, ones that has like a sheen to it. This shade here is sweet. I really like, it is a really pretty color right up in here. That's a really pretty color. I used this three times already. I grabbed this three different times because I was maybe in a hurry or just, you know, stepping out. I like this palette a lot. I mean, I do. I mean, it's a basic palette, but it has the cheek and the eye. I like it a lot for $25. Yeah. I mean, they have another one that has like a blue color in it, like the pop of blue. It looked like it had some pretty colors in it. The other two products I knew I wanted so badly one of the Lorac uh, unzipped palettes they're just like the smaller uh, palette these are like $25 I believe and there's three of them I actually grabbed the one in elegance that's the name of this one unzipped unzipped elegance and the reason why is because yes the colors and these are nice size eyeshadow isn't here uh, it does come with a nice mirror and then Oh my gosh, like here is your eyeshadows and it is beautiful. Like you do get your brush that they always give you and a lot of the palettes. Take that out for a minute. These colors are just so gorgeous. Like this is a taupey mauve kind of a shade, like one of those like purple tone mauve maybe or um, purple tone taupe, not mauve. That's what I'm going to say. One of those shades. See, like just, yeah. I don't know if I have any more room on here. Right there it is. And then these shades are really nice. I mean, for me, I feel like I had to use more of my finger, if anything. Like, that's like a pewter shade. Oh, gosh, that thing is gorgeous. But yeah, like, I feel like you have to pack those on there. I used that other one up here. That one's more of a lighter. Oh my goodness, that one's so pretty. Let me try to. Right there it is. And then, um, of course, this is like a nice plum shade right there. Oh. I, I wanted it because I wanted more cooler tone. I mean, there's that plum shade. It's so pretty. And so yeah, and then that's just your basic uh, cream color shadow. If Lorac makes a palette with like this kind of cool tone vibes like this, I'm so on that palette. I hope they do. That would be so nice. I would I would love it. The other thing I love love from Lorac is their blushes and their highlighters. Uh, this is from their collection with those palettes. It is called Light, Light Source Mega Beam Highlighter. This is in Gilded Lily, which I'll show you back here first. It's in Gilded Lily. Uh, it's like a rose, I don't know if it's rose gold or what, but it is gorgeous. <laughs> it's like beaming off of my hand. It's so pretty. And these are more of a intense highlight, the Mega Beam. They don't, the other ones weren't called Mega Beam, and I'll show you the difference. Because here's a highlighter here. I have a couple of their highlights like this. This one's in Starlight. That's all it says. It has more of silver, like chrome casing, compared to the other one too. The other one has more like, um, you know, like rose gold. I'll show you. I'll swirl this one around. There is that one. That one's Starlight. And it's nice. You can see it shines really nice. But do you see the difference? It's more satin and the other one's more 
glowing. And you can even see in the difference when you're holding the casing together because this has more of that wet glow. Do you see what I mean? Like that's the difference with the two. Sorry for the glaring though there, but that's kind of giving you an idea of what the difference is. All right, beauties. That is everything I had picked up, I believe. I hope. I don't know. I got so many products here and there. I might have forgotten some things, but that's some of the products I wanted to share with you guys <laughs> I did pick up. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And as well as the bell, it's right down over here. It's a red button, it says subscribe, and then there's a bell right next to it. If you hit both of those, you'll be able to join me each week and um, see my new videos that are uploaded and ready to watch. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helped me out so much and I very much greatly appreciate that. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.